Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to see a pattern from chapter number 1, Large Numbers Around Us. This is given on page number 15. Observe the multiplication statements below. Do you notice any patterns? See if this pattern extends for other numbers as well. So what is the pattern given here? 1 digit into 1 digit is equal to 1 digit or 2 digit. What does this mean? Suppose I take the smallest one digit number, C1. 1 into 1 digit, again 1, gives me 1. Right? So when I multiply 1 digit and 1 digit, I get 1 digit or 2 digit. Suppose I take the largest one digit number, which is 9. 9 into 9 is 81. So these are the two possibilities. Either I get a one digit number or a two digit number. Right? Similarly, if I take two digit and one digit. So smallest two digit number is 10. Smallest one digit number is 1. 10 ones are 10. I get a two digit number and if I take the largest number that is largest two digit number and the largest one digit number then I would get 99 into 9. 9 nines are 81. 8. 9 nines are 81. 891. I am getting 891. So this is a 3 digit number. This is a 2 digit number. 2 digit, 3 digit. Okay. But then we don't have to multiply all this. We can follow a pattern. Let us check the pattern. 2 digit into 2 digit gives 3 digit or 4 digit. So what is the pattern here? You need to add these two numbers. 2 plus 2, 4. So you will write 4 here. 4 minus 1, 3. 3 digit into 3 digit. So 3 plus 3 is 6. We can have a 6 digit number or 1 less which is 5 digit number. 5 digit into 5 digit. 5 plus 5 10. So we can have a 10 digit product or a 9 digit product. Just subtract 1 from here. Like if you are getting 2 here. See 1 plus 1 is 2. And then subtract 1, we get 1. So 1 digit or 2 digit. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 or 1 less would be 2. So that is the pattern. It is a very simple pattern. 8 digit into 3 digit. 8 plus 3, 11. So we can have 11 digit product or 11 minus 1 is 10. 12 digit into 13 digit. 12 plus 13 is 25. So 25 digit or 24 digit. So using this pattern we can easily find out that when we are multiplying two numbers how many digits we are going to have in the product. Hope you find this pattern interesting. Thank you.